everyone, I'm alive! Ah. It is day three after surgery and my mouth still hurts. I'm super lucky that I don't look like Quagmire from Family Guy, but it's still a little bit hard to talk, so I'm sorry if I don't quite talk super clearly today. The entire experience, I did not know really what to expect. Honestly, it was like a really, really bad Disney ride. I went into a consultation room, and then I got put into a waiting room, and then another waiting room, where I had to get changed into a gown. Then, I got to ride in a wheelchair. I have never ridden in a wheelchair, so that was amazing. Then I got wheeled into surgery and then everything kind of happened. I equate that to Disneyland in that Disneyland has this amazing thing where they design the spaces and the lines and the waiting rooms so that you're entertained the entire time. You're always moving, you're in a new environment. And that's exactly what it was for me. I got given two of these red bracelets. One has been cut off, but I've just kept one on. I don't really know why. And apparently the red means that you're allergic to something and it was like a warning sign for the surgeons and whatever. And I'm actually allergic to penicillin, so that was kind of cool. Everyone else gets blue, but I got red because red is the fastest color there is. Speaking of fast, the surgery was super quick. They were whipping people through like it was a McDonald's drive through I was number 15. 15. Ah. After surgery, I actually got wheeled out into a recovery room where the morphine started to wear off. Unfortunately, my mum or my sister was not there to film me. I got told by the nurses I was talking about canned spaghetti. You know the really cheap, salty, sugary? It's terrible, but incredible. It was one of my favorite foods as a small child, so it's a bit of a comfort thing for me So I think that may have been why I was talking about it But when I regained consciousness, I was presented with my favorite food ice cream and I could not have asked for a better time to have it I couldn't feel a thing so eating was super hard. I couldn't feel my lips So I actually held my hand underneath my lip so that I knew where it was when I fed myself and when I was drinking so that I wouldn't actually dribble all over myself which actually happened inevitably and I'm actually still in a little bit of pain now, but as you have probably just seen, I have a full stack of painkillers, antibiotic, and anti-inflammatories. I'm also icing my face around the clock. I've just taken my bandage off for this portion of the vlog. Ooh. So I've pretty much been eating Greek yogurt around the clock. Any and all flavors I can get my hands on, I've been doing that. And I've also been using um, protein powder and honey and things to give it a few extra calories because I'm really struggling for that at the moment. If you haven't had your wisdom teeth out, I highly recommend getting Greek yogurt. I find the texture a lot easier to eat because it's not super liquidy. It's enough that it doesn't like run away from you on the spoon. I'm not quite ready to eat solids yet. My mouth still hurts. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, tomorrow. I would go out of my way to hurt a small child, not really, to sink my teeth into some pizza right about now. So for the next few days, I'm still just gonna be hanging out at home watching Netflix. I've been watching Black Mirror. I love that show this season. It's a little bit different, but I'm still really enjoying it. If any of you guys are watching Black Mirror or have any Netflix or any kind of Hulu or Amazon suggestions, throw them at me, pitch them at me, do whatever you can to get them to me because I need more content to watch. If you're wishing me luck, please hit that thumbs up button because I could use all the help I can through this recovery because this freaking hurts. I'm about to go in and prepare some dinner with my family. Um, and by dinner, I mean I'm gonna eat yogurt while they have spaghetti bolognese. A quick shout out to my mom, the OG MVP of this entire thing of me. She's always looking out for me and making sure that I'm okay. So I'm gonna go inside and spend some time with the family and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Now guys, I have an iPhone 6S, but it just keeps screwing up. What the hell? Damn. Let's take a better look, shall we? I am so excited for this. I've been using Apple for several years and I've been getting the iPhones every two or so years. I was due for a new one in that my 6S has been quite slow lately. I don't feel like it's handling the operating system very well anymore. I think um, I'll do a review in a few weeks after I've set this baby up and I've been using it and I've formed some solid opinions and tips and I've actually got something to show in terms of photography and videos. This is gonna be really cool. 
Uh, later today, I actually have a checkup with the dentist to see how these mouth holes are going. I think they're going pretty well. I feel so much better. I can actually talk properly. I've still got a little bit of swelling, but I didn't have a five o'clock shadow, which I'm pretty happy about. So we're gonna set this baby up and then I'll see you on the way to the dentist. Good news fam. Okay, so we're back home from the dentist. Good news is my teeth, no wait, my mouth holes are healing really well and this is awesome. But the problem is there's still like a lot of swelling going on internally. Um, they do want to give me a filling, but they can't do that right yet just because of the swelling. So I might need to get that done when I get back into New York. Ugh, my 2018 is like literally pulling teeth so far. Phone wise, I love this thing. So so far, it's only been a couple of hours. I still don't know how to feel about Face ID. I don't know whether it's kind of creepy and it, I mean, theoretically, it's like technology is kind of like touching my face and then being like, oh yeah, it's you. Getting this sucker set up was a nightmare. It took three and a half hours. I plugged it into iTunes to try and back up all the data and information for my last phone, which should work in theory. iTunes said it needs to update. So I was like, okay, so let's do this. I opened up the app store. I needed to update the entire operating system to High Sierra. So I did that. And then there was a further update after High Sierra that I had to install. So I did that. And then it told me that I needed to update the software on the actual handset so I have to do that and then luckily enough the actual transfer of all the apps and photos and music and everything only took about uh, half an hour which all in all is actually kind of a small chunk of time given that everything else took so long the moral of this story or this video of my entire past two weeks has been don't hold off dental stuff it catches up to you and it will bite you in the butt second lesson learned don't put off updating your software that like you should continuously update this. I am that kind of person. I see those updates on my screen. And I'm like, nope, later, 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 tomorrow. Ask me in a few hours, later, bye. And then this kind of stuff happens to me. And it's not the first time that this has happened either. I should have known better. It was my fault. I will be able to give a better review of this and the camera and, um, and footage on it in coming weeks. So keep an eye out for that as well. I need to go and ice my face to minimize all the swelling that I can. So hopefully I can get the filling done before I leave. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.